And this actually was kind of an off the top. This just broke this morning and came out. Now, it's a part of a larger story that we've known NBC Universal has got its own streaming service coming. We've known that for a while. They've given it an official name, and it is easily the dumbest buttfuck name I have ever heard <laughs> for a streaming service. They're simply calling it Peacock is the name of their streaming service. Why? Because stupid. Um, I get it, but the NBC uh, logo is a P. Yeah, I know, I know, but I have an ass. That doesn't mean I'm going to title my house ass. Like, it's just not a good name. Peacock is not a good name. That said, with the launch of their Peacock service, I'm just going to giggle every time I say it, but a few exciting things. We know that, um, for instance, some of the biggest television shows in history are going to make, be making their homes there. They announced... Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. New Saved by the Bell, where Zach is going to be the governor of California. We got Slater is coming back. Uh, what's the name of the girl again from uh, Elizabeth Showgirls? Elizabeth Berkeley. Elizabeth Berkeley is coming. She's so excited. She's <laughs> so scared. Dude, as long as Tiffany Amber Thiessen is there, I I am wouldn't in. doubt if Tith Tiffany I am Amber. In. I don't think Screech is going to be there, but whatever. And what about Lark Voorhees, bro? Yeah, but I think Come they're going to focus on a younger cast as well, too. But they're all going to be there. But... Amongst all the shows that they talked about, easily the big one that's got everybody talking this morning is a reboot original series of what is my favorite television series of all time, the Ronald D. Moore Battlestar Galactica. Uh, that is coming. That is coming. And it is coming from the showrunner, as a matter of fact, of Mr. Robot, which a lot of people love. It gave um, Rami Malek his stardom, got him a couple of Emmys, as a matter of fact. And it's the guy who's showrunner of that is a guy by the name of Sam uh, Esmail. And I might be mispronouncing his name. But here's the basic thing. This comes to us from Deadline. The new NBC Universal streaming service that the company said Tuesday would be called Peacock. <laughs> will launch in April of 2020 with original content that includes series reboots from the NBCU library among its fair. Uh, by the way, and they did announce a lot. There's a, We're not going to go into it all here, but there was actually a very long list of, of content they're going to be producing there. Anyway, um, that list includes a reboot of a sci-fi classic, a new Battlestar Galactica build as an original series from Mr. Robot and Homecoming executive producer Sam Esmail. Esmail had been in touch with Ronald D. Moore, who blessed the idea because of Esmail's passion for Moore's version of the show. Okay, so look, one of the things that you guys know about me is that generally and in principle, I'm okay with reboots. I'm okay with reboots. I mean, some of the greatest films of all time have been reboots. Um, and my overall philosophy has been this. The reason I'm okay with reboots, generally speaking, is because if you make a good reboot, then yay, we have another good piece of content to enjoy. If you make a bad reboot, oh well, I've still got the original. No harm, no foul, and I'm generally okay with it. And then there's Battlestar Galactica. Now, first of all, as a kid, I grew up watching, you know, reruns of Battlestar Galactica with, you know, Admiral Adama being played by a good Canadian kid, by the way, in Lauren Green, a uh, good Canadian kid there. And I liked that show. I did. I loved it as a kid. It's not, but, you know, obviously I was still on a high as a kid because of Star Wars and all that. kind. Of, and, and Battlestar Galactica was to a degree, you know, network television's answer to Star Wars. And, and they openly talked about that at the time. Then Ronald D. Moore's series came out which to me revolutionized to me what television could be. It was big. It was grand in scale. It was rich in mythology. And it's the mythology of Battlestar Galactica that I love the most. When you talk about the history of the 12 tribes, the lost colony of Earth, the development of the Cylons, the philosophical questions of AI and all that kind of stuff. And it, they simply created to me what is, in my opinion, the greatest television show in history, in my opinion. I know that's not the popular opinion, but that's what it is to me. Nothing has ever beat this show. To me, it is the best. Do you do another one? Hell yes. Hell yes. And I think some of you are going to be surprised to hear me say that. I love the idea. I'm excited for this. 
And I will tell you why I'm excited for this and why I think this is a magnificent idea. Building off my underlying philosophy that if you give us something new that's good, then we got a new piece of good content and I'm excited. And I'll tell you what, the underlying principles and philosophies of what makes Battlestar Galactica great, the mythology, the story, the characters, the ideas of there, there being some, at some point in history, the colonies of man, the, the race of man actually went out to the stars and established different colonies. And there's this mythological lost colony of earth. And now the human race almost gets wiped out. They're on a pilgrimage to find it. Somebody else, when you get a great story like that, whether it's uh, something along the lines of, you know, some of the uh, more classic fare that we get like a new version of, like whether it's a My Fair Lady or whatever, you get a new version of every five, six, seven, eight years. Somebody else coming along to take a crack at that mythology and to tell a slightly different version of it and move forward with it, particularly with a showrunner that's had as much success as this guy has had, uh, whether it's Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Robot or uh, the one he does with Julia Roberts. Home, homecoming. The homecoming. Um, when you got a guy like that at the helm and Ronald D. Moore is, is going, take my blessing, go forth, young man, and prosper. To me, I'm excited. Will it suck? It might. But if it does, I discard it. I go, oh, well, and I go back to watching my favorite show of all time. But if it's good, then it's a new version of it that I can enjoy. And anyway, I, I love this idea. I th I'm excited by it. I would have preferred, Rob, because I, there was some whispers for a while about there being a motion picture of Battlestar Galactica. I'm not going to lie. I would have preferred that. I would have preferred that. But if this is the route you're going and NBC wants to make this their crown jewel. And if they give this show the treatment that Amazon is like, say, giving Lord of the Rings and, and things like this, if this becomes their water cooler show, as you like to phrase, Rob, if this becomes that show and they treat it as such and they treat it with the respect it deserves and all that kind of stuff, I like the fact that he went to Ron Moore and got his blessing on it. If they do all that, this is something that could be exciting. And I know a lot of people are expecting this morning that I was going to freak out and hate this idea, but I actually love the idea. It might suck, but if it does, does to me, there's no drawback. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on this Battlestar Galactica situation, Rob. I, we almost can bypass your opinion on this because I'm just sure you completely agree with me, yes? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> uh, I, I don't and and I'll and I'll first of all let me just let me just say that everything you said very cogent arguments for doing a reboot of Battlestar Galactica however what I, what I, and and I could be wrong and I'll flat out say some of my favorite genre films are remakes Philip Kaufman's Invasion of the Body Snatchers David Ooh, Cronenberg's one. David Cronenberg's The Fly John Carpenter's The Thing Far superior to the originals in every way, shape, and form. Even Chuck Russell's remake of The Blob. Pretty good. However, Battlestar Galactica is so ingrained in our current culture as far as uh, television, how television was made, how it told a story. And I, I, I wonder, look, he, Sam Ismail is an incredible creator. Bad Robot, a bad robot. Mr. Robot is a great show. I really liked Homecoming, the show he did with Julia Roberts. I thought those are, are two of the most innovative and interesting shows on television. So why would I want a creator with that kind of ability to create new programming, to go back and reimagine or reinvent a show that already baked into its DNA, unless he has some wild new take on the concept we're getting this idea of sentient life, whether it's the Cylons or whether it's the hosts at Westworld, whether it's Blade Runner 2049, whether it's her. This idea of, of uh, monotheists, this monotheist Cylons versus the polytheists colon, uh, colonials. I mean, the, the new Battlestar Galactica is so good and deals with so many interesting topics and concepts. I would be very, very dubious of somebody being able to bring more to that property. And better yet, I would rather see a talent like Sam, like I know Sam, working on something original that I haven't seen. This is a show that is so rich that you'd have to go a long way to convince me that there's anything new to say about this concept that's worth hanging a new series on. I mean... 
do I have to? Are you going to reinvent Battle Stars? Are you going to do? Are you going to do the whole thing again, or not? I mean, I also think as a you're hamstrung by the 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 the, the original show, not the original seventy eight Battle Star, not the Glenn Larson Battle Star Galactica, but the David Icke and and um, and Ron Moore show. How do you outdo that show? And if you do if you do outdo it, then we're all richer for it. But I just don't think it's possible. I don't well, think you can. I mean, seeing as it's my all-time favorite show, <laughs> it's it's hard for me to imagine that they can outdo it. But, you know, that brings up something, though, Rob, that you and I have talked about before. Seeing as Battlestar Galactica is my all-time favorite show, I don't need a re-envisioning of it to outdo it. I just want another good thing to look at and enjoy. Here's a great example for me. My all-time favorite cop film, not international cop, but like all-time favorite cop film, is Infernal Affairs. That is my favorite police-based movie, crime and cop movie I've ever seen still to this day. It's a great movie. And then we had Martin Scorsese come along and do a reboot of it, a North American reboot with The Departed that went on to win Best Picture and actually finally won Martin Scorsese a Best Director Academy Award. And while it is story beat for story beat, it's it's the same tale as Infernal Affairs. It's got slightly different personality. Obviously, it's in English, but it's got slightly different personality, a little bit of different takes on this. It's not massively different. It's just little minor things. And I'll tell you what, for me as a viewer, I watch. I can sit down and watch Infernal Affairs and then watch The Departed right after it and really get a fulfilling, enjoying experience. Did I like The Departed more than Infernal Affairs? No, but I still think The Departed is brilliant and wonderful, and I love that it won Best Picture. I do too. And I have a great experience with it. And if if Sam can deliver, again, as if I know him, if Sam can deliver something along those lines, give us a Battlestar Galactica, a little bit of a different take, maybe uh, maybe emphasize a few things a little bit differently than the than Ron Moore's did, and give us a new telling of it, and make it good and enjoyable, I'll love it. J- just like I loved, you know, The Departed compared to that. Or it could suck ass, well, you and know, then we'll throw it away. Uh, again, I just, I, I think the great frustration for me is we live in an, an embarrassment, uh, an era of an embarrassment of riches. Mm. We're getting a lot of, and I'll, look, one of my favorite things in life was the original Japanese anime, Space Battleship Yamato. And I'm like, or as we know, it's Star Blazers. Uh, I was so, I was so adamantly opposed to them retelling the story in in Space Battleship Yamato uh, uh, 2199. I'm like, there's no way, there's no way they can. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. In 2202, they were, brought back the Common Empire, Warriors <laughs> of Love. I'm like, I am so down with this. I mean, it, uh, they updated it, and it's basically it's the same story. With modern writing, they they even kept most of the character designs, but just updated them. I was so against this. I'm like, how dare they? You know, how dare they? I don't feel that way about Legends of the Galactic Heroes, by the way, my favorite mm. anime of all time. But but I'm like, they did it. They convinced me. I'm convinced. But but um, with this, I don't know, man. You know, going back to what you said about know. about Mortal Kombat, though. You know, when you were talking about Mortal Kombat and your, and your lack of interest right now, much like I was had lack of interest in Spider-Man, Spider-Verse at one point, and you're saying, what is there to it, right? A couple of guys fight, rip each other's heads off. Like, what is there to it? I would argue going into a Battlestar Galactica reboot, unlike a Mortal Kombat reboot, you have got one of the best and richest underlying myths and mythologies to build on. Like, there's, I just feel like there's so much potential there. So... Look, I don't know if this is going to be good because as of right now, there's some big questions that got to be answered. Number one, are they going to treat this with the respect it deserves? Number two, are they going to give this a massive cinematic-like budget like they did for Game of Thrones, like they are going to do for Lord of the Rings, like they're doing with The Mandalorian? Are they going to treat it on that level or... Are they going to show, we're going to give you basically uh, the budget of The Office. We're, we want you to make this the Office version. We basically want it to be on the bridge all the time of the Balsar Galactica. And Adama is trying to have a hard time keeping his wacky crew in line. If that's what they're going to do, 
piss on you. But I don't know. A lot of questions to have answered here, guys. What do you think about NBA? Let's, we are not going to talk about Peacock in general. But what do you think about the idea of the creator and showrunner of Mr. Robot coming out and doing a Battlestar Galactica film? Do you feel some apprehension? Do you feel some optimism? What do you think about it? Jump down in the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.